props in or props out? That's the million dollar question. Some of us fly props in, some of us fly props out, and some of us probably don't even know what we're talking about. So today we're gonna go over what the term actually means, why you might wanna change it, and how easy it is to change in the new beta flight. The first thing is understanding the terminology, props in versus props out. The easiest way for me to remember it is if you're looking at the camera on your, your quad here, and we'll go ahead and we'll look at the down view here. So if we're facing forward here and the propellers are turning towards the camera, that would be labeled props in. If the propellers are turning out away from the camera, that's props out. The same thing works as far as the antenna is concerned, or in this case, we have the GPS unit. But which directions are the propellers spinning? Are they spinning in towards the uh, antenna or are they spinning out away? So props in would be towards the antenna, props out would be out away from the antenna. Now there's other things that go into the factor of whether you want props in or props out. A lot of the quads now, uh, like this GEPRC Vapor, uh, I, this is a D5 here, um, it came from the factory props in and I prefer it to be props out. And the reason I prefer props out is there's actually a couple of reasons or actually three separate reasons. The first reason I prefer props out is when the propellers are spinning, they're pulling debris away from the camera instead of into the camera. The second reason is I fly through a lot of gates. I practice out at the RC park. I'm sure you've seen my other videos. If you have an object, let's say we've got this little Apple pencil sitting here. We have our little domain quad here and we're flying up to an object. Well, if propellers are spinning in towards the camera, as the propeller would catch this object, it's going to crash. Where if the propellers were spinning out away from the camera, it's going to steer it out and actually recover, or you have a situation like in this video I'm gonna show you here. That you're actually able to recover from instead of it sucking into the gate and you, then you have to take the walk of shame and go pick up your quad off the ground. I've done that a few times myself. So now that we know what props in and props out are, and I had mentioned there's three different things. There's been a lot of uh, quote unquote scientific studies I've watched um, and it talks about clean air and what motors do what with the quad when you're moving forward or backward. and Basically what it boils down to is the motors that do more work should have cleaner air. Well, with props out, the motors in the front are doing more work, so those have cleaner air, so it's preferred to do props out, even though the default in beta flight is props in. If your quad is props in and you think you might wanna try props out like I do, let's go through the steps. Now, in beta flight, it's actually very easy and we're gonna go through the complete steps here, but there is a known bug in Betaflight 4.4.2 that this feature won't work. So if you have Betaflight 4.4.2, and right here on my screen here in the upper left-hand corner, you can see that we're, we're 4.4.0, so we should be fine on this little Emacs Baby Hawk that I have hooked up here, which did come from e Emacs with props in, and it has the O3 air unit, so I probably wanna do some recording on it. So today, we're going to change that. So I already have it plugged in the beta flight here. The next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to plug power to it so our motors will actually work. The ESC has to have voltage to it to work. We go into beta flight, it's all plugged up, we're connected here, and we're going to go to our motors tab here. The first thing we want to do is make sure the motors are spinning the correct direction. As you can see here, I've actually put some tape on these to tell which way they're doing. A lot of the time what I do is make sure you have our propellers off. Obviously that's common sense. We don't want to chop off a finger here, but I'll lightly just touch the outside of the motor bell and that'll tell me which direction it's spinning. So if we go ahead and we tell it that it's okay to turn on the motors, and I'm just gonna go ahead and arrow up on the keyboard here slightly that way um, I can control the motors a little bit easier and just barely get them spinning here. 
So now the motors are just barely spinning and hopefully you can see in the video here that these motors here are turning in towards the camera, which we don't want. And these motors here in the back are turning in towards the antenna, which is what we don't want as well. So I'm gonna just stop the motors here. The next thing we wanna do is we need to tell Betaflight, see up here in the upper left-hand corner, it says motor direction reversed. We're going to change that to motor direction reverse, but that's actually not gonna change the motor direction. We physically have to change that. What that's gonna do is tell the flight controller that the motors are turning reverse and it will direct the power to whichever motor it needs to to fly correctly. So what we need to do is we need to click save and reboot before we can even change the motor directions. Alrighty, so now let's go to the motors tab here and we see it save that. So now our diagram is showing motor two in the front right corner here is out, four is out, as well as the rear motors are showing out away from the antenna here. So what we don't wanna do is reorder the motors because they're in the correct order. We wanna to go to motor directions. So we're gonna click on motor directions. You have to understand the risk, which we all do because we fly quads and we know there's risk involved. And do you want to use the wizard or individually? And I've had some problems in the past using the wizard, but I haven't had problems using the individual option. So let's go ahead and use the individual option. They both work the same and it takes about the same amount of time. So we'll click on individually here. And if we click on motor one and hold down on it, we can see that motor one here is spinning in the wrong direction. It's spinning in towards the uh, um, uh, antenna itself here. And we want it to spin out. So what we're gonna do is click reverse and we're gonna spin the motor again. And now we can see that it actually has changed the direction. Motor two here, which is the front motor, is spinning in towards the camera. We wanna reverse that and we'll test it again. And see now it's spinning out. Motor three, which will be this back left motor here that we're going to spin the motor. And we can see that it's actually spinning in towards the antenna and we want it to come out because we wanna go props out. So we're gonna reverse that. We'll test it again by uh, clicking the little button, it's spinning out. And then motor four here in the front corner, we can see that that's spinning in towards the camera itself and we don't want it to do that. So we're gonna reverse that and we can test that again. So now that's spinning out and we'll close this. There's nothing here to save. It's actually writing to the ESC. It's kind of like using BL Heli to do that. I really don't know how it actually does it, but it actually does work. So if we go down here again to the motors tab, and we acknowledge that uh, we can do that. We'll go ahead and we'll just slow these way down here. And you can see now that they're spinning out away from the camera and in towards or out away from the antenna. So we'll say stop motors there. And that's all you need to do. You don't need to do a backup copy or anything because like I said, it writes to the ESC itself. Hopefully this helps you with your, your flying as far as if you come up to an object, it's gonna steer you away from it. If you've made it this far in the video, I really would appreciate it if you could click that like button, maybe subscribe for more content like this. If you have any questions about this or you're having problems, please leave me a, a, a comment in the comment section below and I will definitely answer it and see if we can get you going and get you in the air with props out and see if you like it. Thanks again for watching and we'll definitely catch you on the next one.